The Desert Botanical Garden in Phoenix, Arizona is a 140-acre botanical garden located in Papago Park. For seniors and solo travelers, it is easy to navigate, reasonably priced, and should be on your list of places to go when visiting Phoenix. Of course, it's very hot in Arizona during the months of May through September, so it is best to visit the garden during the cooler months. However, the garden does host evening events during the summer, such as ballet under the stars and local musicians. The garden has hosted exhibitions by the glass artist Chihuly, and you are greeted with three sculptures by the entrance. On my recent visit, the large-scale sculptures of Rotrat enlivened the garden trails. The admission price is currently around $30, with no discount for seniors. Since it was high season when I went, and on a weekend, they required advanced reservations where you entered the park at a very specific time. They give you a map when you enter, but the paths are pretty easy to navigate even if you don't want to follow along. The paths through the garden are well manicured without much elevation. There are nice settings with benches for you to relax and take in the scenery. They have also installed some interesting shade structures that reflect the Native American history of Arizona. As you walk along the trails, there are plaques, signs, and stations with information and listings of the various plants you will see. If you go in April when the desert is in bloom, you will see the plants in full brilliance. All of the cacti and plants are well maintained in their natural state. There's no manicuring of bushes here. There is a slight elevation sloping up toward the Papago Mountain and in particular a formation called Hole in the Rock where there is an opening through to the other side of the mountain. Looking the other way you can see Camelback Mountain. All in all a very picturesque setting. There are five loop trails so if you keep turning left you visit all of them. If you walk all five loop trails you will have walked about a mile and a half. I think you should count on about two to three hours to get through the park at your leisure. However, if you take in any special events, it might require more time than that. At the end of the visit, you can swing by a gift shop where you can purchase desert paraphernalia. They also sell small plants and cacti if you are so inclined. And finally, there is a restaurant called Gertrude's on site that is a lovely setting with both indoor and outdoor seating. But you need to make a reservation if you plan on eating in the park. I tried, but they were all booked up. I enjoyed my short trip to the garden. The setting is intimate, rustic, and charming all at the same time, with pretty views of the interesting Arizona Rock Mountains. If you'd like to follow more of my journeys, please subscribe, like, and follow me at Senior Solo Travel. Cheers.